I almost went bankrupt before I discovered this. Three years ago, I was watching my cattle lose weight during the final finishing phase, and I couldn't understand why. Premium feed, clean water, perfect facilities, everything looked right on paper. But my animals were coming to market 20 to 30 pounds lighter than they should have been. And that difference, my friends, was costing me thousands of dollars every single month until one conversation with an old rancher changed everything I thought I knew about cattle nutrition. What he told me about minerals sounded too simple to be true, but when I tested it, my finishing results doubled in less than 90 days. And the worst part? Almost nobody in the industry talks about this because most people are focused on the wrong things. Here's what was actually happening on my ranch, and I bet it's happening on yours right now without you even knowing it. You see, we've been taught that finishing cattle is all about energy, corn, grains, high calorie feed, push them hard, finish them fast. And yes, energy matters, but there's a hidden bottleneck that most producers completely ignore. Your cattle cannot efficiently convert feed into muscle and fat if they're missing specific trace minerals in precise ratios. And I'm not talking about the basic salt and mineral blocks you pick up at the feed store. Those are designed for maintenance, not for performance. Let me explain this clearly. During the finishing phase, your cattle's metabolism is running at maximum capacity. They're building muscle tissue, depositing intramuscular fat, developing that marbling that buyers pay premium prices for. But every single one of those biological processes requires enzyme activation, and enzymes don't work without mineral cofactors. Zinc, copper, manganese, selenium, cobalt. These aren't optional extras. They're the ignition keys that turn feed into profit. Here's the formula that changed everything for me, and I want you to write this down because this is pure gold. For every 1,000 pounds of body weight during finishing, your cattle need, listen carefully, 80 milligrams of zinc, 10 milligrams of copper, 40 milligrams of manganese, 0.3 milligrams of selenium, and 0.2 milligrams of cobalt, delivered daily in highly bioavailable forms. Not just any form, that's critical. Most cheap minerals use oxide or sulfate forms that have absorption rates below 30%. You're literally pouring 70% of your investment into the ground. The breakthrough came when I switched to chelated minerals, specifically amino acid complexes and proteinated minerals. These forms have absorption rates between 80 and 95%. Suddenly, my cattle were actually getting the minerals instead of just eating them. Within two weeks, I noticed the first changes. Appetite increased, they were coming to the feed bunk with more aggression, finishing their rations completely. By week four, their hair coats were gleaming, a sign that cellular metabolism was firing on all cylinders. And by day 90, when we weighed them before market, I couldn't believe the scale. An average of 78 additional pounds per head compared to my previous finishing groups. But here's where most people make the critical mistake, and this cost me dearly before I figured it out. They think they can just dump these minerals into the feed mix randomly and get results. Wrong. The ratio between minerals is just as important as the amount. Too much copper blocks zinc absorption, excess iron interferes with manganese, high sulfur in water destroys selenium utilization. You need balance, precision, synergy. Let me tell you about the three most common errors I see producers making, because if you're making even one of these, you're leaving serious money on the table. Error number one, relying on free choice minerals during finishing. Your high performing cattle need guaranteed daily intake, not random licking behavior. Some animals will consume too much, others too little. You get inconsistent results across your pen. Error number two, ignoring your water quality. If your water is high in sulfates or iron, and many ranch wells are, those antagonists will block mineral absorption no matter how much you're feeding. Get your water tested. It's a $50 investment that could save you thousands. Error number three, and this one hurts, buying minerals based on price per bag instead of price per absorbed unit. A cheap mineral that's poorly absorbed is the most expensive thing you can buy. Now, 
If you're getting value from this, do me a favor right now, hit that subscribe button for Biggest Bulls and Cows, because we're building a community of producers who actually want to improve, who are tired of the same old advice that doesn't work. And drop a comment below telling me what's your current finishing weight gain average. Let's compare numbers. Let's help each other get better, because that's what this channel is all about. Real information that actually makes you more profitable. All right, now let me take you deeper because understanding why this formula works will help you customize it for your specific operation. The magic happens at the cellular level, inside the mitochondria, which are the energy powerhouses of every cell. When cattle are in the finishing phase, their muscle cells are building new protein structures at an accelerated rate. Each protein structure requires specific enzymes to fold correctly, and those enzymes are metalloenzymes, meaning they have a metal atom at their active site. Zinc, for example, is a cofactor for over 300 enzymes in cattle metabolism. It's directly involved in protein synthesis, cell division, and immune function. When zinc is deficient, even marginally, protein synthesis slows down. Your cattle eat the same amount of feed, but they build less muscle from it. You're paying for feed efficiency you're not getting. Copper works alongside zinc in collagen formation and iron metabolism. Without adequate copper, your cattle can't build the connective tissue framework that supports muscle growth, and they can't transport oxygen efficiently to working muscles. The result? Slower gains, higher feed conversion ratios, lower profits. Manganese is the unsung hero of bone development and fat metabolism. During finishing, you want your cattle depositing intramuscular fat, that marbling that increases quality grade. Manganese activates the enzymes responsible for fatty acid synthesis and cholesterol metabolism. Deficient cattle will have poor marbling development, which directly impacts your price per pound at sale. Selenium is your antioxidant powerhouse. High energy finishing diets create oxidative stress in tissues, Selenium, working through glutathione peroxidase, protects cell membranes from oxidative damage. This means better health, less inflammation, more efficient growth. And cobalt is essential for vitamin B12 synthesis in the rumen. B12 is critical for energy metabolism and red blood cell formation. Without it, your cattle are essentially anemic, unable to utilize feed energy effectively. Now, here's something fascinating that most university research doesn't talk about, but I've seen it proven in my own pens dozens of times. When you get this mineral formula dialed in perfectly, something remarkable happens in the last 30 days of finishing. There's an acceleration effect. Your cattle don't just maintain their rate of gain, they actually increase it. I call it the compound finishing effect. It happens because all the biological systems are finally working in complete harmony. Enzyme systems are saturated with cofactors, hormonal signaling is optimized, gut health is peak, everything clicks. I've had cattle gain four and a half to five pounds per day in that final month, numbers that shouldn't be possible according to traditional feeding models. But let me be brutally honest with you about something because I believe in transparency. This formula is not a magic pill for bad management. If your cattle are stressed, if they're dealing with parasites, if your feed quality is inconsistent, if they don't have adequate bunk space or water access, minerals won't fix those problems. This formula amplifies good management. It takes a solid finishing program and makes it exceptional. It's the difference between good and great, between profitable and highly profitable. You need to have your fundamentals right first. Here's exactly how to implement this on your operation starting tomorrow. First, find a reputable mineral manufacturer who offers custom blends with chelated trace minerals. Don't be afraid to pay more for quality here. The return on investment is massive. Second, work with a nutritionist to calculate the exact inclusion rate for your specific finishing ration based on your feed ingredients and cattle weight. Third, mix the minerals directly into your total mixed ration if possible, ensuring every bite contains the right amount. If you're not using TMR, use a highly palatable top dress that cattle will consume completely. Fourth, test your water source for mineral antagonists, especially sulfates and iron. If levels are high, consider acidifying your minerals or using protected forms. Fifth, keep detailed records. 
Weigh a representative sample of your cattle every 30 days. Track feed intake, health events, and final carcass data. Data doesn't lie. And here's a pro tip that's worth its weight in gold. Start your mineral program 30 days before you even move cattle into the finishing phase. Preload their systems during the backgrounding phase. When they transition to high-energy finishing diets, their bodies are already mineral-saturated and ready to perform. This eliminates the lag time I experienced in my first trial, and you'll see results even faster. One last thing I need to address, because I know some of you are thinking it. Is this expensive? Compared to standard mineral programs, yes, you'll spend an additional $12 to $18 per head over a 90-day finishing period. But when that investment returns 70 to 80 additional pounds at market, at current prices, that's somewhere between $90 and $120 in added revenue per head. You do the math. It's not an expense. It's one of the highest return investments you can make in your entire operation. Listen, if you've made it this far, you're the kind of producer who actually cares about improvement, about doing things right, about maximizing the potential of every animal in your care. That's exactly who this channel is for. We're not here for surface level information you can get anywhere. We're here to dig deep, to share what actually works in the real world on real ranches with real profit and loss statements. So subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow right now. Become part of this community of serious producers. Share this video with another rancher who's struggling with finishing performance because we all need to lift each other up in this industry. Comment below with your biggest finishing challenge. Let's problem solve together. And remember, every pound you add to your cattle is a pound you add to your family's future. Let's make it count. I'll see you in the next one. Keep pushing forward.